<laughs> Good morning. So it's Monday morning today. Um, quite a nice day again, a bit windy, but sun's out mostly. I'm in the workshop, so whatever it's doing out there, it doesn't make a lot of difference, I suppose. So uh, yesterday was Sunday. I went down to the uh, car boot sale. Um, that's for places in the world where you actually have a car boot on it, I guess. Uh, America, you have a trunk, I think they call that. I don't know what about elsewhere. Uh, you might go to flea market. So, there I was. I went down there. And what did I do? I bought some stuff. <laughs> and uh, I've invented something today. So, this is the uh, Learn Electronics Car Boot Sale Booty Box. That's the original uh, meaning of booty. Uh, plunder of war. Something gained. Something made. Uh, where you don't have a boot, you can call it trunk junk. So, there we are. So, I'm guessing now you're thinking, well, Rich, what's in the box? Uh, so here we go. I managed to get a few things. We have one uh, gaming keyboard with macros. It's uh, it's it's a membrane keyboard. Um, I didn't particularly buy this to try and fix it. I bought this because uh, I wanted to buy uh, a decent uh, gaming keyboard. And I have a couple of gaming keyboards, but they don't have macros on. And I wanted to have a play around with macros, so I couldn't get the guy down on price. He wanted five euros for it. He absolutely insisted this thing's working. And to a point, it does it work. He said all the lights light up, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It does work, but the, the space, I think the alt and the down arrow, and maybe one or two other keys don't work. So, well, you know what? Let's see if we can try and fix it. See if we can. Can we fix a membrane keyboard where they're not individual switches? Can we understand why it isn't working and can we make it work? So there's one thing we're going to look at. What else did we get? These are interesting. Uh, there's two the same. Um, I wanted to get these for like five euros each. I wasn't even sure what these were, to be quite honest. Obviously, the GPUs, uh, they say G4s on them. Uh, so, what I did is I, I made a note of this number here, just remembered this number. And I thought, what I normally do is when I find stuff like this and I'm thinking, what's it worth? Is it any good? Is it worth having? I look on my mobile phone, I just jump onto eBay and I go to normally just put searching for the thing. Uh, but I don't like to do it when I'm on the stand because I think if people think you're on your phone and you look yourself up on the internet, then you know exactly what that's worth and then you're going to try and get you for nothing. Uh, so I wandered off, put this number in, not into eBay, just put this number into Google and it tells me the uh, uh, GeForce uh, 8800 GT graphics cards. So quick into eBay, into the uh, listings, put that 8800 GT. And I can see them coming up and they're like 30 quid, 20 quid, 40 quid. I go to sold listings, I can see what they're selling for. I thought, yeah, okay, I can get them for five euros. Each. Let's have them see if we can fix them. I thought this would be interesting because we have two of the same. And I thought it might be very interesting to see if having two of the same helps us to repair them. Assuming there's anything wrong with them, I don't know. Uh, so... I went back to the lady and I, I argued and argued. She wanted 20 euros. I wasn't going to pay that. I wanted to pay 10. Uh, but after a minute, it was fairly obvious. I wasn't going to get them for 10. Uh, so we settled at 15. So 7 euros 50, 7 euros 50. We have two graphics cards. PCIe, GeForce, 8800 GTs. When they got home... I always have a quick look. I went back onto eBay and I'd look at these to see, yeah, is that what they're worth? Did I get it wrong on the phone? And uh, I can see pictures of these things. But none of the pictures I can see look like this. They have a sticker on normally with like a some sort of gaming scene on it, you know, some mermaid or some guy with a, with a big gun. Um, but I did find one that looked like that. And it said uh, it was an Apple Mac something, or some sort of Apple. And uh, somebody was selling these new, and I think there was like one or two left, 180 sold. And they were like $150 or something. So 
I went back in and put Apple 8800 GT. And then I found quite a lot of them, and they all look like this. One I can see has a sticker like this. So, uh, same number here, I think. A slightly different number here. And basically, I think these are for an Apple. Now, that is interesting because one, if they are for the Apple, then looking at ones that have sold in the last month or two, these are going to fetch about 100 quid, 100 pounds, 100 euros, whatever you want to call it, which is good. The downside is I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to test them. Um, I don't think you can put these in a PC. I did a quick just search for something like uh, Apple... Uh, 8800 GT PC compatible. I wasn't finding any hits particularly. Um, maybe the PC version is the same thing, it has a different BIOS. Maybe it's possible to program the BIOS to stick it to the PC, and then if it works in there, put the original BIOS, it'll probably work in an Apple. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so, what, was, what we'll do with them is we'll open them up, we'll have a look for anything obvious short circuits, burnt out components short circuit gpu and whatever and if we can't find anything obvious i'll go online i'm going to ask about these is there any way i can test these without the the apple um i do suspect probably where these have come from probably a computer shop who probably thought these were for a pc put them in the pc and they didn't work so i reckon i've got two good cards here probably worth 200 euros it's just, can we test them? So, that's those. Only one more thing in the box. Right down in the bottom, can't even reach it. I found this uh, on one of the stalls. And it was like this. I mean, it's obviously a part of a graphics card. No heatsink, just the circuit board. And... Uh, if you can look close up, straight away it's obvious there's some capacitors missing here. You can, you can see where they've been desoldered on the other side. Uh, there's a transistor or a FET or something missing here. Uh, that That's the most obvious. Um, was there anything else? I thought, oh, yeah. It was like there's another this row of capacitors. Looks like, looks like there's one missing from there. So, two things we know. One, it's not complete. Two, somebody's been at this, somebody's had a go at this. So we can assume it was duff. And we can also, I think, pretty much assume it's still duff. Uh, somebody's mad looking for a short or something, can't fix it. And I thought, well, can I make this work? I mean, it's not complete. But the guy, the guy wanted five euros. I said, no chance, you know, this is just part of something I said give me a, a euro a euro and he was a bit, a bit of a, you know one of the lads really and uh, in the end we said okay look two euros and I thought to myself actually for two euros probably a lot of these fets are okay maybe some of these other bits capacitors uh, these are tantalum capacitors I've got two euros worth of bits here regardless of if I can do anything with it um, so it's something interesting, it's something we put on the channel because we know this has been messed with before. And I actually quite like fixing this sort of thing if I can. This is a challenge. If you find something like this, this is a challenge. Because if you can fix this, you are better than the last guy you tried. And if you do fix this, the satisfaction you get from that is just off the scale, you know. If I can get, if I can get it working, I don't know, it's... it's uh, it's a GeForce 7... It's a GTX 770. 4 gigabyte. If I can get it working... I mean, maybe I could look around on eBay, find a scrap on... Or sometimes you find people just selling the heatsink who've, you know, like put a water cooling on something. Uh, so I may even be able to get this working and get it put together and still make a profit. But that's a long way down the line. First is, can we get it working? So that's uh, this week's booty so far. Um, we'll have a look. I uh, hope you just uh, are interested in the challenge. So let's see what we can fix.